how to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. The weighted average cost of capital is the weighted average of the market value of the firm's debt and equities. The basic formula for debt and common stock, weighted average cost of capital equals the following, the market value of debt divided by the market value of debt plus the market value of the equity, all multiplied by R subscript D, which is the investor's required rate of return on bonds or yield to maturity. And then we have over here the market value of equity divided by the market value of debt plus equity, all multiplied by R subscript C, which is the investor's required rate of return on common stock. Example one, a firm has $200 million worth of common stock outstanding and $50 million in bonds outstanding that offer an 8.5% return. Common stock investors require a return of 12%. Let's calculate the weighted average cost of capital. So the market value of the debt divided by the market value of debt plus equity. So we have the $50 million of the market value of the debt divided by 200 plus 50 million. And then multiplied by the rate of return on the bonds, 8.5%. And then we get the market value of equity. Here is 200 million divide by the market value of the debt plus equity, which we said is 50 plus 200. And we have the 12% required return for common stockholders. Doing the math here, just rewriting that last step and simplifying, we get a weighted average cost of capital of 11.3%. The firm should invest in projects that have at least a 11.3% return. The net present value of the firm's investment projects should be positive or zero if discounted at 11.3%. Example two, let's deal with tax deductions on debt interest. A firm has $200 million worth of common stock outstanding, $50 million in bonds outstanding that offer an 8.5% return. Common stock investors require a return of 12%. The corporate tax rate is 30% and interest payments can be expensed for tax purposes. So this will just change our formula slightly. So here's our weighted average cost of capital, the debt outstanding divided by the debt outstanding plus the equity. And then one minus the corporate tax rate is going to take into account the tax deduction for interest payments. And then everything else is pretty much the same. So plugging in our corporate tax rate, and now simplifying, we get a weighted average cost of capital of 10.79%. Example three, here we have debt, common stock, and preferred stock. So once again, $200 million worth of common stock outstanding, here we have $20 million of preferred stock outstanding and $50 million in bonds outstanding. Common stock investors, once again, require a 12% return, while preferred stock investors require a 10% return. And we're going to have, again, tax deduction for interest payments on debt. So plugging that all in together here, so the value of the debt stock and preferred stock outstanding is going to be 270 million. Here's that extra part here where we got the preferred stock, $20 million of preferred stock as a ratio of the 270 million of debt, equity, and preferred stock outstanding. So plugging in the corporate tax rate and now just simplifying, we get a weighted average cost of capital of 10.73%. Okay, that's it.